it's important to obey the instruction. What if that woman never entered in and poured out the costly ointment on Jesus? What if she didn't? What, what if she was disobedient and held it and kept it at the house? Well, it's pretty easy to figure out naturally. She would have had the ointment and the perfume in her home as long as it took her to use it on herself. But when the last drop was gone on herself, it's finished. Is that right? So then we would have had a good lesson today on bread to the eater, but not seed to the sower. So what happened when she poured it out on Jesus and gave the greatest seed she had and put it directly into his life? I'm going to tell you what happened. She's still in the body. Watch, watch, watch. You say, Pastor, what do you mean? Everybody gets into that, you know, all the perfume fill the room. And then everybody starts having sense of the best perfume they ever bought at Macy's or whatever. Ah, uh, you know, and everybody just starts lighting candles and thinking of steak. <laughs> it wasn't a date. No, seriously, that's where people take it. They leave it in the soul realm. And no, 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 no. When she sowed into the body of Christ, that seed has never left her life. My opinion as a preacher and interpreting the word of God, that seed that day got her heaven. So, Pastor, what do you mean? That seed that she sowed into Jesus not only accessed heaven, it sealed heaven for that woman. Her giving that day lined her up to heaven. My, my, my. Oh, you should have to continue to be obedient. I'm talking about it caused the thing of God to come into her life repeatedly so that she was led continually to the body <laughs> of the Lord Jesus Christ and she was given access to his body and preference to his body while others had to wait until she showed up he Appeared first. <laughs> and at the cross, there she was again. At the tomb, the burial, there she was. At the resurrection, there she was. Her gift gave her priority access. <laughs> Welcome back. I told you, you and I need to connect right now at the end of this broadcast. God has a place, a point of contact. The Word of God says that many times... Jesus Christ would bring something out before the one that he was ministering to and tell them that if they came into agreement 
with him in a specific area that he would then do something for them or a point of contact that came for a miracle uh, like the, the bread and the fish and, and, and other things where Jesus said if thou canst believe you know all things are possible if, if you can believe and he told the man uh, do you believe and he said Lord I believe but help my unbelief and so Jesus will always give you something to contact or connect with in your faith when he does that that is his ability to reach down to you and say, I'm going to put something supernatural in your life. All you have to do is see me in a different way or believe me at a higher level. He told that to Abraham when he came to him with a covenant of promise and said, Abraham, not only am I going to bless you, but I'm going to multiply you like the stars of the heavens and the sands of the sea. He told him, Abraham, he said, look up into the heavens and count the stars and see if you be able to number them. He said, so shall thy descendants be. He gave Abraham a point of contact. He gave him a different view and how things could be for him. Sometimes God will put something in your life that will open you up to greatness and will bring you into a greater unlimited area so that you can expand and break out of whatever it is that's been limiting you or troubling you. And that is the greatest part of deliverance is when God comes and gives us an out and the out that God gives us is greater than anything we could even imagine. I'm agreeing with you right now. I'm asking you to pray with me and say this. Say, Jesus, save me from all my sin and cleanse me from my unrighteousness and fill me with your precious Holy Spirit right now. Take all my sin from me and fill me with a new life and a new spirit. And I thank you for that. If you pray that prayer, I want you to contact us, 757-467-2400, or go to the web at dominionchristiancenter.com. You can connect with us by Facebook and Twitter, and ad will come up at the end of the program for that. But I'm believing right now that you got saved. Let us know so that we can follow up and talk to you. We have people here that are concerned and want to pray with you. Also, I want to pray right now for those of you that are sick. I feel the anointing of God on me to cast that sickness from your body. You might be watching in a hospital or laying in a bed in your house. I command you to be well now. In the name of Jesus, I loose the power of God to set you free. Right now, I want you to be free. Call us. Contact us. All the information is there for you. Right now, I want you to know that faith is defining your destiny. I'll see you again next week. It is important that you and I connect. This is Pastor Terry, and I'm telling you that we have ways that you can connect to us through the social media. You need to go to dominionchristiancenter.com. That's dominionchristiancenter.com, and take advantage of some of these things that we provide. There's live teaching on the web there. Also, you can send in your prayer requests, and we're going to agree with you in prayer. We take those before the Lord uh, every month in our miracle service. Also, I want to just explain for some of you, maybe older viewers that aren't on Twitter, it's a free account you can access it and set it up easily and it's just small fragments of things that we send out by the day uh, throughout the day uh, to our partners and friends and so Twitter and Facebook all this is going to be made available to you and don't forget dominionchristiancenter.com we're believing in covenant with you in agreement that we're going to come into a place together where we're going to see mighty miracles in God as you and I connect together and stay connected by relationship I love you and I appreciate you taking this time when you fast, it doesn't give you power over the thing. It separates you from the thing. And when your separation comes from the thing, then your connectivity comes with God. So, and the Lord spoke to my spirit and he said, if you fast finances, then you won't be able to just spend what I've called you to give. Jesus came to set us free from curses. So the devil's trying to get us wrapped up in curses again, but we're not going there. Not only are we not going to get wrapped up in them, but we're going to break curses off of other people. Call now to receive your copy of Fasting Your Finances for only $39.95. You will receive two powerful DVDs and two CDs that will show you how to effectively break the curse of the enemy off of your finances. To order, call 757-467-2400 or order online at dominionchristiancenter.com.